Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my humble home, my humble hacienda and casa on the windy hills of Livingston, Montana. Okay, right off the get-go, I want to get this browser out of your face. You don't need to be looking at that. And today's date is March 15th of 2022. Now, look, you're going to have to forgive me, but I, I got to say this because I keep forgetting to remind people to, to subscribe to my channel, to give me some love, give me some hate, give me the finger, give me, you know, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, ring my bell, all that kind of stuff. And also, lately, I've been doing a little bit of research on how you keep people from clicking out of your videos. And all I can come up, all my research is showing me is you got to start off with a bunch of transitions and filters and yelling and screaming and nonsense and stuff like that. You know, I don't really want to do that. So hang in here with me. We're going to take a trip on Google Earth, and I'm going to show you how I found numerous camp cabins mining cabins and stuff like that. If you're into that, abandoned cabins, whatever, mining cabins up here in these Absorky Mountains and various other places here in the state of the Mon in the state of Montana. Okay. Let's fire up Google Earth here. I hope I can stumble through this without little problems. There's Livingston, Montana. I always like to start off at Livingston because it gives me a reference, you know, okay. Let's click into this and let me try to Okay, good. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go out south of Livingston, out in Paradise Valley, and we're going to go to a place called Mill Creek, which is 25 miles southeast of Livingston, okay? Let's get a spun around here and stop burning daylight, meaning me, and get on with this show. Now, I don't like, I try my best not to make long-winded videos, but it's tough. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me stop right here and we're all, we're looking almost due south. Let me, let me get rid of that pin and we're going out into Paradise Valley. This is abs, this is the Absorky Mountains over here. This is the Gallant Mountains, but we're going to be following upstream the Yellowstone on the Yellowstone River and we're going to go out to this place called uh, Mill Creek and I'm going to show you a cabin I found years ago. No kidding. Now watch, we're going to go right up, right up here, right up this drainage. Let me get this around here so we know what we're doing. Okay, let me zoom up here just a little bit more. Okay, good. Let me take it on 3D. We're going to be going right into these mounds right here. Now watch. Watch, watch, watch. We're going to go up to a place on Mill Creek called the West Fork of Mill Creek. Because that's where I found this cabin years ago. I drove by that place many times. Man, I don't even know. A dozen times and didn't even know that cabin was there. Because it, it's not on the regular road, the access road. You got to you got to kind of hump in there. Okay, I dropped a pin, didn't mean to do that. But right here, this canyon right here, the Mill Creek. Now we're going to go back in here. Let me spin this around one more time. I got to get lined up just a little better than I am. Okay. Let me go back in here like this. West Fork of Mill Creek. Come on, don't let me down, baby. It's right there, even though it's not saying, but it's right there. Trust me on this. Okay, can you see this road right here? This is called Bulldozer Creek Road. Let me drop a pin. Now, yeah. right in there. Okay, you see how this road's going up here like this? That road is one scary road. That's why I'm going to tell you people, if you come up here to Montana, find Mill Creek and go up there, don't go up that road. It's called Bulldozer Creek Road. It's built right on a landslide, a series of landslide slides. If you go off that road, there's places that you're going to, your vehicle is going to tumble 700 to 1,000 feet. That ain't no kidding either. I've been up there in the wintertime and that's one scary place. See how it, let me see if I can roll up here a little closer.
Okay. Yeah, this road just goes like this. Bulldozer Creek Road. And that cabin is up here. I'll show you. Let me flatten this out here a little bit. Okay. Now, this is a fair, fair view. Can you tell me, is there anything different? This is the crux of my video right here. There's, you know, whatever. When you're looking for structures, cabins, and stuff like that, what you're looking for is something different other than them green trees, gray rocks, piles of rocks, roads. It, it, it'll be a structure that's that's maybe not sticking right out at you, but after you zoom up on it and examine it, you'll see what I'm talking about. You know, you're, what you're looking for is something that's got some... Uh, symmetry to it. I think that's the word I'm looking for. It's symmetrical, you know, square or whatever, perpendicular, has a certain sheen. That usually means it's got a tin roof and stuff like that. It'll just be a little object that's out of place. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And anytime that you're exploring with Google Earth, you want to look at stuff that's out of place, stuff that doesn't look like the environment around it. Okay. Can you, can you understand that? Sure you can. You're intelligent. Okay. That what we're looking at is right here. And I'm sure I was that was more than fair. I could have pulled out a lot further from that than I did. But that that's what we're going to be looking at right there. Is that that's a cabin. Okay. I like I say, I found it several years back. Let me go in here and let me zoom right in here. And like I say, if this application quits me. Don't worry about it. I'll try to get it back if I can. Okay, we're looking right down on the cabin. Can you see it a little bit better now? Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to try to 360 degree it. In other words, 3D, and this application could could crash because I've got a real small little Chromebook here. It doesn't have a lot of resources. It doesn't render as fast as it should probably, but let's, let's, I, I can recover this in just a few seconds. So we're going to bump into some mountainsides and stuff because this is in a canyon. I'll show you as we're going out of here. We're going to bump into a mountain right there. Ah, what do you know? Yep. That's an old mining cabin up on Bulldozer Creek. I have recorded that several times on my channel, and I've recorded B Bulldozer Creek Road. So there you are. Let me stop right here. There's no mistaking that that's something different other than the environment around it. That's my point. And do I suggest that people just take Google Earth and start looking all over, anywhere all over the place? Yeah, because you never know, you never know what you're going to find. That's been my experience. I have found at least 10 cabins, maybe even more than that. I found lots of good hunting areas and fishing areas and all that kind of stuff. Let me, okay. I don't know if I want to take that for another swing again, but let's. Let's do her. Let's take this for another one more swing. And oops, banged into a mountain there. Sorry. <laughs> uh, maybe it'll render back in for me, hopefully. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now, let me see something here. Let me 2D this. Let me, let me do this another time so, so I can figure my way out of here. <laughs> yeah, I actually had to do that to figure my way out. Okay, I know where I'm at now. Right here is the trail, believe it or not. I know, I've, I've hiked in here. It's only about, okay, I want to make a disclaimer right here that I'm at this cabin. This is private property. I happen to know the, there's some people here in Livingston that have the mining rights. It's a mining cabin. It's it's actually private property. So like I'm urging you to, I'm making a disclaimer, don't go in there. Me, when I went in there, I was very careful. I never disturbed anything. I didn't even disturb a rock. So I just don't want to get in any trouble for putting out publications saying, oh, yeah, just go up to this cabin and have a wiener roast, burn the place down, all that. Don't do it. 
That's what I'm trying to tell you. But look, this trail, I know you're not going to be able to see it very well, but it it goes right along here like this. You, you may be able to see it. Right here it is. Okay, and it just it just basically goes out here and there's this bulldozer crick road is what it okay, there's a trail right there. Let me pull it over to and it just basically hooks up with uh bulldozer crick road, okay? It's just that simple. And there we go, there we go on down there, and it's a little bit of a hike in there, okay. And this road, that's right, this is the main access road coming in. And now this will just take you right off the mountain. Now, here's these switchbacks I were telling you about. Like I say, you really don't want to go up there. It's best if you hike up there and not take a vehicle up there. Okay? So you got it, ladies and gentlemen. You're just looking for something unusual that, that isn't part of the landscape. You know, that isn't a tree, isn't a rock. You like that? And that's how I found that place. So... I'm going to keep this video short, and I'm just going to quit, you know what I mean, <laughs> and get gone. So, but like I say, sub to me if you want to or whatever have you. Okay, let me get that out of my hair and let me finish, Get let me get gone here and let me see if I can. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take it easy. Uh, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you on down the trail. Adios, my friends.